Hey everyone, welcome to Buick Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion. Today, I'm drawing by Shelby over there. You can kind of only see her butt right now. She's busy picking something. <laughs> but today we're out here uh, cruising the countryside and we're actually picking a whole pile of fiddleheads. Well, we've been looking around here for quite a while and uh, we haven't been able to find any mushrooms yet, but here, Found some ferns. I see little fiddleheads growing. So maybe we'll pick some of these if we find some more. We'll pick up some uh, fiddleheads. There's two fiddleheads. Grab this guy here too. There we go. Ain't exactly what we're looking for, but at least it's something. Well, we keep finding more ferns. Here's a couple more here. And over there, right around in there, there's a couple more. So I'm going to look at the base here and see if we can find some more fiddleheads or not. And these ones here, I'll put them in my pocket. Uh, ladybugs. And another fiddlehead. There we go. Supposedly, as long as you get them while they're still wrapped up like this and they're not getting all straight, they're uh, pretty good to eat. So I'm going to keep picking fiddleheads, I think. The more I look around, the more I see there's a couple more right over there. So we'll just kind of dig down. Look at the bases here. See if we can find some more. There's one. They smell lovely. This one here has some brown on it, but that's okay. Like I said, as long as they're not stretched out and kind of sand straight up, they should be good. Another little one. There we go. So we're we're getting a few anyways. Put them in my pocket for right now. In the truck I got my little bag that I can throw these into. Shelby's over here. She's picking away. So here's some more. Oh, we'll dig down deep. Nothing there. Uh, there's one little gaffer there. That one a little iffy, but we'll try it. <laughs> yeah, the more more I look here, the more you can see along in this ditch, there's kind of ferns kind of growing all over the place. So, yeah, instead of mushroom picking, I think today is going to be more of a fiddlehead pick. But whatever it is what it is, at least uh, we're out and about in the bush. We're grabbing something to eat that's all wild. And hopefully when we get home, we'll cook them up in some garlic butter and see if they taste any good. <laughs> yeah, so in here, we keep finding these small little bushes like this. There's not too many fillheads growing in with this small stuff. But... Got these ones here. I think those are just a little too old. But down below, we got these little gaffers. We'll grab them. Now it seems like when you find the big clusters, 
like these ones and these ones that's kind of when you find the most fiddlehead so i'll get down here to look Uh, that one might be a little iffy, but we'll put her in the pot. If anything, if it doesn't taste that good, just spit that one out. <laughs> What's that? Are wild pea plants a thing? Yeah. These look just like pea plants. Yeah, they used to grow in the pasture. Like. The flowers and everything. I yeah, those are peas. peas. Cool, that's something new I've never really found. Yeah, there might be like a sweet pea kind of a thing. We should come back here and pick some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a big cluster of them. There's a couple right in here, shall we? There's a bunch over in here too. Those are all growing up a little too much. Wanna grab these ones? Oh, those look great. It looks like there's two more anyways. Yeah, right there, that big bugger. <laughs> Get a pretty good palm pole over here. Yeah. Well, if you look over your left shoulder, it's just littered with ferns over there. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't think we'll go hungry if we stay around here and we want to eat a whole pile of ferns and all that. They're kind of all over the place. One thing that's funny is we're out here looking for mushrooms and fiddleheads and stuff. And uh, just around the corner, there's a black bear right across the road. So it almost turned into a black bear hunt, but uh, not quite. Like with all the mushroom pickers and stuff in this area right now, they're, uh, they're pretty shy of people. <laughs> but... The more we look, the more we're finding. Trying to stay away from the Devil's Club. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna scour this little area here of all these ferns and see how many more fiddleheads we can get. So in here, I just found a whole bunch of little ferns that are all kind of bundled together, but they're starting to kind of unravel a bit. I don't really want to pick that one. Uh, this one here, he's I got here. He's questionable. Yeah. Ones like that, I don't think you really want to pick. They're uh, starting to open up once they start to open up. Supposedly, it's when they start to uh, taste, I don't know, bad or whatever. I haven't really have uh, too much experience with fiddleheads. But, there's another couple in here that look nice. Can I gotta dig down in here? There we go. One, two. Not much in there. Well, we got two more for the pot, Shelby. She's over there. She's uh, she found herself her own little mother load of fiddleheads, and there's still a bunch over in there. Uh, one thing we might run upon while we're doing this too, because we're in a big burn area, is we might find some black morels, but uh, haven't found any yet. But Shelby here, I found the oh. mother load. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we definitely have enough for supper and then some. But, uh, yeah, she'll fill her pockets with them. We have a couple of bags with us, too, that we might have to grab and start filling up bags. But, uh, 
yeah, I'm curious to see how these things taste. But, uh, yeah, as always, we're going to keep on keeping on here. We're going to keep picking. All righty, so we're at, back to the truck here. Grab my little bag I got from, uh, what's her name? The Raspatoon Patch. I met her at the Chetwin uh, Farmer's Market. So we're going to use her bag, put it to use. Put all my fiddleheads in here. I didn't get overly too many. A uh, little pocket full of them. And then I started looking for mushrooms again, but I had no such luck. So I got a little bit, and then Shelby there, she has a whole pile of them. You want to put yours yeah. in here? I need two hands for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One. You dropped a couple now. That's all right. Squirrels need to eat. You want more? I think that's oh. Oh, one, one more. more. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a good little uh, sack of fiddleheads here. Let's see here. Uh, there's quite a few in there. Doesn't really look like much on the camera, but there's. I don't know, maybe half a pound of fiddleheads in there or so. So with that being said, I think we're going to keep on going down the road. And probably might make a couple more stops here if we see more ferns and pick up some more. If not, we'll see you guys back in the kitchen. Alrighty guys, so we made her back into the kitchen here now. And uh, I just finished making up kind of basically some black bear kind of... Uh, kind of steak bites kind of a thing and now what we're going to be working on is our fiddleheads so we brought these home and we kind of gave them a nice little rinse got all the dirt off for most of it anyways got most of the dirt off and everything so now what I'm going to be trying to do is pretty well just a really simple basic uh, fiddleheads in a garlic butter and then maybe a little bit of melted cheese on top kind of like what i do with broccoli and uh we're gonna give her a whirl so the first things first here we have a frying pan uh it's on about a medium heat this is the old uh gas stove so goes up to six we'll put it on a four and uh i'm gonna throw in some of this garlic butter and then we'll throw in our fiddle heads all right so first things first here a little bit of peanut oil there so the butter doesn't burn and then basically we're gonna give her a really good knob of this butter because we are cooking a bunch of them get that in there and then we don't want this overly too hot we don't want to burn our butter we just want it to melt so I might even turn it down to about a three, so it's kind of like a medium low heat. Try to get this melted up, and then now that we have some of it melted, what we'll do is we'll just grab our nice big bowl of fiddleheads here, and we'll just dump them in. Oh, looks like we missed a couple pieces of grass. Get those out of there. And we'll give this a bit of a stir. Get everybody going. And then once this butter melts up and we get a good little coating on all these fiddleheads, what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste kind of thing. And then uh, we'll just let this slowly cook and become soft. All right, so I've been cooking on these for a few minutes here now. And they're slowly all starting to become tender. Sitting here poking them with a fork and they don't feel too, too bad. Kind of about half cooked, almost like... Uh, I don't know, almost like an asparagus kind of a thing. So what I'm going to be doing here now, seeing how we got, uh, we're cooking it up with garlic butter. 
I have garlic Havarti cheese. So I'm just going to take this and just kind of lay it in here. And, uh, yeah, see how she goes. If you guys have any idea on how to cook these fiddleheads, uh, let me know in the comments there. This is the first time I've ever cooked them, so I'm just kind of winging it here today. But, we have our cheese on there. Take our lid, put the lid on there, and we'll just let the cheese melt. And, uh, yeah, once it's all done and melted, we'll plate this up and we'll give them a go. Alrighty, we have this lid on here for a couple minutes. And we'll check her out. That's looking pretty good. So, I'm going to pull this off the heat and I'm going to get everything plated up. And then, uh... It'll be time to taste this and see how it went. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here she is in all her glory. The bear steak bites, it's uh, it's nothing to write home about. Just took uh, bear stew meat, threw it into the frying pan, cooked it up, browned it up, and then kind of made like a bit of a gravy just so it can boil. And that way you know for sure that it's uh, over 160 degrees. And then here... Are these fiddleheads? Now we're always teasing Shelby and picking on her to come and do a taste test. So today I'll leave her alone and I'll be the taste test. Actually, this one here, there's no cheese on this one, so I'll try this one first. Oh man, that's amazing just like that. So if it's good without cheese, you know, with cheese, it's gonna be even better. So we'll grab these ones here, Havarti garlic cheese. Man, I like that better than cooked broccoli, and I love cooked broccoli. These ones here, these are definitely a thumbs up in my book. Next time I head out to the bush and I see a bunch of ferns growing, I'm definitely going to cook this stuff up again. But anyway, guys, hope you liked that video. If you did, hit that like button down the bottom there. Uh, leave us a comment or two. Let us know uh, how your fiddlehead hunting went. And uh, subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.